Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're here for a special race around Austria. Uh, short quality percent. I can't remember if damage was on or not, I don't think so. And straight away, good start, we invalidate our first lap time. So we're going to use the same set of tyres for a second one. Um, that bang was 25 6 up back to save fuel and ERS. 3 to 1, bit squirrely, but better than invalidating. And already we make it a few seconds up. Down is turn three. Taking that eh, somewhat nicely. We're gonna to skip towards the end of the lap now. Into turn nine. Mounting curves nicely, not invalidating. Up to the cross the line's gonna be a wide oh three point eight six one. Uh, there's a brace over behind us, that's a two nine. Banker in the practice was a 3.7, so I'll take that because yeah, so was really scruffy. Where I want it to be at the moment, but it, it's, it's decent. You yeah, can't burn fuel. Oh, full speedback's gone. Yeah, and I just lost full speedback there. <laughs> and up behind us comes GRT Alfie, and we don't realise, and he smashes into the back of us. But we start our next lap anyway. To take that for that if I need to. Down towards turn one. I don't know who that was. That was my fault. Breaking about 75 meters. Get in, clip the apex, get the exit very nicely. I left it fifth there. I think I should do that more often. Through turn six now. 51 brake bias. That was Thomas. Uh, Thomas Runhar was talking to me about using like 50. I couldn't use that, so I was using 51, 52. While we were in time for our practicing. Uh, but 3 turn 9 again now, bit of a slide to be mounted the curb way too much. Through the last corner, it's been a good run. We've gained on the exit, it's a 103.5 and that takes us one position. position. You're joking. But anyway, uh, I believe this is our best lap, go. so I'll leave. Actually, no, we're we'll going for it, we're we'll going for it, and just in case it isn't our last one. Again, braking around 75 80 meters. Rubbish exit out of turn one, we're tenth down. Coming up the hill. Um into turn three, breaking around 75 meters, get get it down the gears, turn it in, shift it up to the third. Losing time on the exit because of that first that first flying lap having uh, a oh, fuck's sake, get out of the way! Uh, oh, gen generally means a better exit. Through turn four now, a really good turn four. Not the best of exits, but we're only 100th down now. In front of us, though, we've got uh, Choco. He does not realise we're allowed. Choco fucking move! And, yeah, just just lose a bit of time there. We lose a tenth. We were slightly up, but we lose a tenth. But I think we're still going to be coming down into turn nine now for the final time in this session. <laughs> Through turn ten, we gain a lot of time on the apex, but up by a tenth. Coming across the line, it's going to be a 103.4. Where's it going to put us? P16. P16. Anyway, here are your final quality results. Hawks is on pole. Ron Hart second. Jonas uh, for, uh, third with the host in fourth. Here's the strategy. Oh, that is disgusting. Yeah, you could tell I wasn't best pleased by the default strategy. We're going to switch over to a soft, uh, a medium, medium soft, I think. I can't remember. Yeah, there you go, medium, medium soft. And we're going to jump straight to the five red lights. Here we go, then. To three, to four, to five red lights. And it's lights out, and away we go. Get a decent start up in the differential by one click to get that extra traction. And instantly, we're going to just plant the car in the middle of the surface. We're going to dive bomb. We're just trying to get past. The has of Connor there. No, it wasn't the has. It, it was raceway. Good, 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 good. Good start. Hard. I'm already up three places. <clears throat> and we're going to go and down into turn three for the very first time in this race. Looking slightly for a dive bomb and not thinking of anything as Connor goes right around the outside of Blackie. And we've got TLT KFC said on our outside. We've got raceway behind us, ready to launch an attack. We're going to just back off from behind Seb. He's locked up. We're going to go down the inside. Shizuzo has just been off. On the exit of four, must have hit the curb or the gravel. A bit like Carlos Sainz, and we are just gonna 
follow Seb through, rounding off this first lap with a three place gain. Not too bad, if you ask me. Made up three positions. We haven't taken any damage because it's off. And we have taken no warnings, which I can confirm we don't until later on in the race. We will use our overtake mode now. Are we going to look for a move to turn one on KFC Seb? We're going to fake it, but we're not going to. We're going to go for the better exit. We do. He's off. Lucky spun it. And we get past Seb on the exit because he's taking the escape route. But here, come, he, here he comes again. There's going to be a bit of contact as Raceway trying to make it three wide. Yeah, there we go. Oh! And Seb just locks up massively. Raceway is on our uh, inside. Seb has been mugged off by FT AJ for FH444, I think. And Darren's turn four. I'm just thinking, right, Raceway's quicker than us. We may as well just leave and go. And here we go, into an amazing battle with uh, FRT, FH, Triple Four. Down to turn six, he's on my outside. I'm on the inside, he has to back off. Through turns seven and eight. And he's not already close enough to mount any sort of attack, but KFC 7's still in there, looking to try and spoil the fun. But he's just not going to be close enough. Oh, what's happened behind us? Ferrari's going slowly. But that isn't Seb, so... Luckily for him, it isn't him. DRS has now been enabled, and this is where the battle between me and AFH really do, does ramp up. We've got the DRS of Raceway. We're going to use that up on the run to towards turn 3 to try and defend from FAT AJ for, for FH444. I am minting everything. But he has less wings. He's going to send it down the inside. Okay, I thought I would. Oh, that's it. close. But yeah, this is where the meat of the battle really comes from. And um, down to turn four, we are going to try and switch back in. We tap his rear end, but there's no oh. damage, obviously. So we, this is effect is Jonas retires the system because of the game's innumerable bugs. And we're going to do a replay shot of this. We're fighting for P10 right now, and I'm just trying to hold it around the outside as best I can. Coming down into turn nine now, I have to slide behind. Because a move into turn 9 is just suicidal. <laughs> it's the only sort of stuff you do in open lobbies. As Alfie leaves the session. Uh, but into turn 1 we're on his inside but we're going to break just to get the DRS. <laughs> Funny tactics here. Um, and we're going to use the ERS a little bit on the exit to gain back to where we lost from breaking early. But here we go. To faking him from the outside to the inside we're going to break about 75 meters like we do with qualifying and we get a pretty decent exit but uh, FH24 is right on the back of us and he's going to have the DRS down to turn 4 we use a bit of overtake trying to defend we're going to dive it quite desperately and we have to mount the curb which loses us so much momentum coming in down to turn 6 I have a run but I'm not going to use it a Seb disconnects from the session. We've got two and a half seconds back to the Matthew, so we're good in this battle. And um, coming down into turn nine now on I lap say four are us, man. of the race, we are right on the back of FH44. We're going to take nice, clean lines, trying to get best exits we can. I think I'm going to say, I think I say, I'm going to sit behind him, try to save some ERS. Try and sit but you'll see that I instantly go against that. Coming into turn three, out of turn one. Uh, the long, the longest straight on the circuit actually. We're gonna use a bit of the overtake. We're gonna send it down the inside. Not a hint of a lock up this time, and we get it through. But we've got a bit of rear end out, uh, loss out of there. So FH might come back at this here. He doesn't, and I believe that is battle over. Because he loses about right, so it's hard with roughly six tenths P9. through here <laughs> to the dirty air, but that was a very nice battle there. It's fun though. I don't know what that cut was all about. Um, but DRS, now cool. it's just going to be a focus on wrapping consistently because even though we're close to A and 66 and Connor, we're just not going to have the pace to keep with them. <laughs> and up nine, about a tenth off of the previous best. Uh, Lap ten. Oh, lap, that was lap eight. And now lap nine. Uh, end of lap ten. Yeah, we're just lapping consistently, consistently, consistently. 
so we'd like losing maybe a tenth every lap but not that much in the grand scheme of things oh that lap was dreadful pit windows now open but we're gonna try and stretch it i think but here you'll see we're actually in an uncut range of wilson because i believe he had a half spin so we're gonna dive it into the pit lane in thinking he's gonna continue on but as we come through the pit lane he's done something and we've just got ahead of him um i was thinking about using an extra clicker downforce but after a couple of laps this up this downforce started to feel nice but like uh, I thought I was holding the clutch in this situation, but I clearly wasn't. But we're still ahead of Wilson. We're going to come out of the pit like, behind Hawks, who were uh, pitted earlier for hards after spinning. Uh, and we're behind uh, Skitsy. We're just going Skitsy. I don't know how to, how to say his game attack. Scyther. Scyther or something like that. Here we go, down through turn 9 into turn 10. We're, we've made up two seconds already in a couple of laps. He's trying to stretch his tyres to lap 23, I believe. And he was saying in the chat it wasn't worth it, in the uh, Discord, it wasn't worth it because after 65% of the tyres are just gone. They're just useless. And look, we've already gapped him by five and a half seconds. It's been like three laps since we passed him. So. Yeah, not much. Who is that? Sorry about that. Wait, sorry to cut it's off. Yeah, not much happened for the rest of the race, we're just happening consistently. We do have Connor getting on us, but we're going to box this lap. Oh, and we get our first warning of the race. Very unfortunate on that one. <coughs> just a bit of understeer to, through turn six. And that's what she wrote in terms of having a fully clean race. In terms of warnings and penalties. <coughs> Sorry about that. Uh, but we're going to dive it into the pit lane now. Uh, I have a few people go past us that are on a one-stop, I believe. I didn't think of doing a one-stop. I thought the tyre would make it. Uh, so I went for the two-stop to be safe. And that was basically what happened in this race. I believe we get a warning here. I can't remember. No, we don't. Uh, I think this might be the best lap of our race. So I'm going to leave you with it. Okay, so coming down into turn 9 now, on our best lap of the race. Very good run through these last two corners, out of the final one, using the ERS, coming across the line, so we have 5.2. Which actually turns out to be the lap of in on hearts. And we pick up a penalty Oh, though. man! Um, oh, that's so unfortunate. Yeah, well, that was basically all she wrote for the race. So, final lap of the, the race now, Bush. Bush trying to push but it's not going to amount with anything because the tyres are just worn at this point um, but yeah so far if you've enjoyed this video I mean it's nearly over do hit, a, do hit the like button let's come through turn 3 now uh, Ron Hard comes across the line to win the Grand Prix um, he's just spun on the line uh, down into turn 4 now uh, oh, so much un understeer with, with high tyre wear. But we were keeping pace with Wilson in this race. And I'm actually pretty pleased with some of the pace we had. Considering this was my first league race style race. And hopefully I could do some more of these in the future. I didn't host this. Matthew, uh, VRT Matthew did, so thank you very much for that. I'll leave his Twitter down below. He's not hosting any more of them because the game is just broken. Go across the line. 
and five. And you know what? I'll thoroughly take it. There wasn't all too much more I could have done. If I'm honest. Right, a podium was not on the cards by any stretch of the imagination. But yeah. It is what it is, so... While the podium ceremony plays out, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Um, I will be doing more of these post-con videos. Uh, especially yeah, I'll with, take it. I won't do it with UKRL, but I'll try and do it with ERL. Um, and any other races I do in between. But yeah, here are your final results. Ron Har wins. Joe the second. Third is Rashford. Wilson fourth. Myself fifth. Skitsy in sixth. Connor in seventh. Paul in eighth. Aiden in ninth. And Joker in tenth. My consistency. My consistency race. here. Mega. Good this race. Which I'll definitely take. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.